Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Okay, this dude is blue. What is wrong with you? Maybe there are mono beasts outside. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to be looking for them. I assumed that you got the mono beasts off of here, but I, I, I don't really know. Okay, I'm not really Janitor. sure why she's running around like that. You, you don't want to be guy. That's not a toilet. That's not a toilet in there. Challenge from Dwayne Malarkey, Junior Nurse. Unfortunately, we failed to complete. Challenge uh, hospital attractiveness. Right, okay. We, we won't worry about hospital attractiveness then. Um, I'm not going to worry about another toilet. I've Training got a lot of... Completed. Training course completed. I've actually got two more people still needing to complete that training course. I've got one janitor off out and doing things, and he will hopefully come over here to do some work to it. And then we've got that one. Disaster warning, reports of electrical storms. This could damage our machinery. Okay, what's wrong with you? He's too cold. Right, if he's too cold, where's the temperature overlay? There's the temperature. Oh, I see. Right, I've got one area of the corridors. There's electrical storms. Training course completed, maintenance, and staff challenge. That one's done. I trained three people in there. Right. I will leave that bit. I want to go to items, and I want to scroll down here, and I want to put a radiator on that wall somewhere along here. Except that I don't have any room to put a radiator on that wall. I've, I've literally got no room anywhere on this wall. Maintenance I mean, announcement. Automated stack machines need restocking manually. There. Put that one along there. It's it's going to have warmed it a little bit. And then I've got some warmth over there. I guess I could put another one here. I have a burn spot there. And I don't know if I'm going to do much about that. I'll put that one down there. And I'll leave that. Right, that's, that's looking a bit better, I think. There, some extra radiators around. I've had someone perish out there on the floor. There's not a lot that I can do about that. I've got a lot of patients in here doing things. Staff promotion. Right there is another janitor, uh, janitorial promotion, so I will promote you. A doctor discovered lycanthropy thought to be extinct. Um, we've handled that several times. Into the pharmacy. So we've got a pharmacy in here. This is a drug mixer too. The easy scan, I will do an upgrade job on that one. The pharmacy over here, I'm going to copy that one building. One of our hospitals is suffering the effects of an electrical storm. Not so good if you're hooked up to any equipment right now, but great conditions for reanimating monsters assembled from body parts. <laughs> great conditions for reanimating monsters assembled from body parts. Ah, uh, we can't deny that. Okay, I've put in another one of those, so I'm Doctor going to in GP's office. hire another nurse. We've got... Ooh, I've got another ward management there. I've got... Uh, who have I got already? Nurses. I've got two nurses with ward management. Um... I don't need injection. I mean, really, I'd like to have someone who's got a ability to go into there. That that would be quite good. I mean, that one there. Oh, bedside manner. No. Diagnostics. These nurses aren't much good. Let's get rid of all of those nurses, and I will get some more applicants in eight days' time. Doctors over here. I've got... I've got a doctor there that's got two levels of research. I've got a doctor at the moment. Actually, let's get that doctor going. I've got 18 grand now. Um, he should be able to go and do his research. That was the next one that I wanted to do. I want to start another course. I want research two in there. And the trainer right there. It's going to be 20. I don't have 20 grand. It's going to have to wait a minute. I want more doctors anyway. And another GP room. And then we're going to need to be able to have somewhere to treat all of these people. 
That's going to be the next thing, so I've got to find somewhere to treat them. I don't have any more GPs. You All could... prices are set at the discretion and greed of the hospital administrator. <laughs> Reporter for Two Point Radio, Sally Fig Blanket is in the area covering a story in Duckworth upon Bilge, where residents claim a, re a resident claims to have found a new shade of beige. She's asked if she can stop by to do a story on a hospital. If she's impressed with the hospital, it could be good for our reputation. Yes, why not? I think we can do with another GP's office, which is going to cost us money. And I'm losing a lot of money at the moment. We are losing money hand over fist. Now, what about you? You're 985 points on the DNA lab bit on there. I've got that. I need to upgrade some more machines. I've got a machine over there that is being upgraded. I need to get a shock clinic and a DNA lab. Has arrived. Right. So I've got some upgrades done. I need a shock clinic. I need more doctors. Higher. Right Doctor in here. Research, please. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. That one right there with treatment would probably be beneficial. Okay, you've got a treatment skill. I want someone with pharmacy. You know what? I'm going to take you. Grumpy. I don't have any money. Right. Let's go to money then. Start. Uh, no, money. So I have a new hobby now, beekeeping. I only have three bees for now, not as easy to catch as you'd think, but I'm looking forward to all that sweet, sweet honey. And here's a sweet, <laughs> sweet melody for you all. He's got three bees at the moment. Right, makes people happier. We will take this nurse Mention right here. Oh, plants need water. Drop her in there, and then I'll go to higher. And there's the dude, general practice. He's got, although he's got two research levels, which is a bit of a waste. So I'm going to take that one right there. Terribly dull. That's fine. Hire you. You're going to come in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to train you. Uh, right after I've trained the other guy, I want to train the other guy first. I want to do research too. I want to get this one underway. So we're going to go there. Trainer, yes. Trainee is Dr. T Dr. Perry Monk. And start training. So there's that one. He's going to go and do his training course. And then while I'm waiting for that one, I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy the GP office. And that's a 4x4 four four room down there. This one is not. I could actually put two GP's offices down here if I want to. That one will go in there like that and I will just accept it like that and there I've now got another GP office I've got a radiator in there I'm gonna want another radiator here in, uh, another radiator or two in the hospital here aren't I so I'll put one over there and warm that a little bit uh, that corridor down there is already looking pretty warm I will put another radiator there and I've got more messages turning up. So now I'll put a radiator the there. Of an epidemic, please try not to panic. Right, our doctor discovered a new illness. Shock horror. This is what happens if you simultaneously put a knife in a toaster and a fork in a power socket. <laughs> the patient is seeking treatment. We will need a shock clinic in order to treat them. You need a research shock clinic. Uh, get patient to wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. There's been an outbreak of fracture ward related illnesses after complications from testing Bungle's mind control jetpack. A group of testers are looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat them here. Uh, I don't have a fracture ward, but I'm going to have them sent here. Shoot five mono beasts. Except I've never seen a mono beast. How am I supposed to shoot them? If I've never seen one. Patients arriving for the fracture ward. Right, I've got nine grand. I have nine thousand at the moment. I need to be able to build a fracture ward, which is going to take that space minimum to do. Ideally, what I would want in order to be able to do that is to go and get some money from uh, and you know, go and do one of these other plots. I don't have anything available. I've got no loan that I can take out. I've, that one is got another 12 months on it. I'm not allowed to have that one yet. Requires a hospital value of 500,000. Requires a reputation of 25. Requires a hospital level of 2. 
So I'm not that those are out of the question at the moment. Um, mono beast. I've I've never seen a mono beast. Watch out! Scurrying around the hospital, use your mouse pointed target and shoot them. Look for them hiding in dark places and under objects. Right. Let's go and just have a look around the ward a minute. I have not seen a mono beast. Maybe there is a mono beast around here somewhere that I have missed. It would be nice to find one. I've I've never uh, well, I think I may have seen one quite some time ago. But if that's all I've seen, that's, that's not very good so far. Right, I'm not I'm not going to do anything different here. That's, that's all we're going to do. So I have got 9,000. I don't have the money to go and buy another area, which means that really I want to turn that corner into a fracture ward. So first up, I want to move that radiator. And that one can go over against the wall over there. Then this GP's office, edit... How do I rotate it? Uh, yes, stop editing. Edit, close, sell, high... Huh? Oh, make it high priority. Customize walls and floor. Edit room objects. Edit room blueprint. Right, I'm editing room blueprint. How can I rotate the whole thing round? Not like that. Uh, is there even a way to do that? I need to be able to move it round over to this way. I think the only thing that I can do with this really is sell the entire room and put a new room down so the door is here. The reason I want to do that is because then I can turn that entire area in there into a fracture ward and instead of just having it in smaller. And I'll be able to make use of all of that space, which I think would be a good thing. So I'll stop editing that room a second. And we'll go to you over here and I will sell the room. Yes, like that. Then I will go back over here, and I will go to that room, and I will copy this room. I get the same amount of money for the room, and then I will put that room down there, and there, 13,400. So I don't lose any money doing that. Then we want to go over here, and I want to go to rooms. How much is the fracture ward? i got a feeling it's going to be, it is... 13,600, I don't quite have enough money to make that. It's a minimum of 4 by 3. That is 5 by 5 if I go out to there. That is what I'd like to do. I'd like to take it out to there. There's 5 grand. So I can put the door over there on that corner, and then I can build my fracture ward in there. But there's no point in actually building anything at the moment, because I don't have the money for it. So... Yes, I want to stop editing that room. Let's press play. Okay, you go and work in there. Where are you going now? You need to go in there. Hopefully I can earn a little bit of money. Fracture ward required. Our doctor discovered a new illness. Humor is injury. Patients are not really amused by this injury of the upper arm. Uh, get patient to wait. Patient with humorous injury is seeking treatment. It will cost 13,000. Get patient to wait. Patient with humorous is seeking treatment. Get patient to wait. I'm, I'm, get, I'm sensing a recurring theme right here. Get, get them to wait! Right? Just just, just get them to wait. 13,100. We get in there. 13,600. Ah, now we're talking. Swill. Our mixture of compressed plant matter will go straight through you. Oh. Taking with it the poisons of everyday life and much, much more. <laughs> Thanks, Swill. May cause unsolicited and incessant excretion. This May is cause Two Point Radio. Incessant excretion. Right, that was slightly horrifying. 
If I put you there, like that. I don't normally like to have it sort of in that corner like that. But I'm actually okay with it going into that corner, I think, this time. And then I've got this one here. Which I'm thinking should go here, like this. I'm going to put that one there. Now I need some beds. This is the important bit, is we need the fracture ward beds. So I'll put one there like that, and then another one. Now the problem with that one... Oh, it does fit in there. It fits in behind there. That's that's excellent. If I can put that one in there, that, that would be absolutely brilliant. And now I'd like to... Can I... Fit three along this back. Take you. I can't fit three along here. There isn't enough room to fit three traction beds along there, unfortunately. Uh, there is room. Take that one. I can put this one... I can put one there. I can move that one up. Except I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to have that one over there like that. There's there's method to this madness. Don't worry. And then... Oh, wait. No, that's 19,600. I don't want any more. I can't use you. Right. There's 16,600 just there. Because I'm going to want a couple of extra bits. Like, if we can put some wall monitors and medicine cabinets in here, that would really help. I can definitely put some wall monitors in here. I put one there, and I can put one over there for that bed. Now, the, the prestige bit, I don't really care about. I got It's the price that we've got to watch now. We've got to be very careful about the price. So I can put a locker in, just because, you know, lockers are something that is actually helpful. Something that you would want. So I'll put two lockers in over there, and then the bedside table doesn't help. The medicine cabinet does help. That's plus 1% treatment. Um, so I will put a medicine cabinet in here. And I'm actually going to... I was going to do a double one of those, but I can't afford to do a double one at the moment. So I'll put one there so that it is ready at the moment. Then a big bin. I've got room for that one. I've, I've got the money for it. I'm going to want two more. So I'll, at the moment, I will drop a bin in the middle like that, and a fire extinguisher can go on the wall over there, and that's 18,950, and then hand sanitizer, 19,200, is a fraction too much. I need to I need to lose a hundred. Right, it's it's gonna have to be one of those lockers because those right there are surplus to requirement. There. Build room. I've got five dollars left, but I do now have a fracture ward. So let's start playing that, and I've instantly lost Assistant a little bit of money. In reception. Assistant wanted in reception. Now we go and we have a look at the job. So I've got two of them here are able to do fracture-related items, uh, ward-related items. So we're going to say no chromotherapy, no clown clinic, um, no cardiology, no general diagnosis, no pharmacy, and none of those. That one is only allowed to work in here. And so is Ellie Pike. She's only allowed to work in these two. There. That's going to help a little bit, I think. It might not help a lot, but it will help a little bit. And then we can train them in ward management too a little bit later on. That should help. Minus 25,000 shock clinic. A patient to wait. All right, I'm waiting on the shock clinic now. He has just about finished that. He's got 999 on his DNA lab. I haven't got a shot clinic Don't yet. Don't feed the ghosts. They're dead. Thank you. <laughs> Don't feed the ghosts. Completed training research two. DNA lab has now been completed as well. But I'm on minus 21,000. I have got... 
I might have the DNA lab unlocked, but I've got a lot of nasty things. Like, there's a lot of bad news going on here. What's wrong with you? Unhappy will leave soon. Very thirsty, very bored. There's drinks machines. You can use the drinks machines. You can get drinks from the drinks machines. Look, see, I got loads of them. There's plenty of them ready for you. I need a new project in the lab. Especially now that my researcher is... Green light fee is a thousand. I don't have that. I can't do that. Uh, shock clinic. That's got to be my next one right there. Training research would be nice. Output research four. There's 4,000 points. Uh, I won't be doing that. Upgrade fluid analysis. So shock clinic. I, I am going to need a shock clinic. That's got to be my next thing. The hospital is in debt. Maybe we should take out a loan. I've already got two loans as part of the problem. <laughs> that's, that's like a major part of the problem. I've got 11 months left to pay on this one. 4,600 per month. 11 months. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up to my eyeballs in it. Here's the latest tech report with Alan Dongle. One of our hospitals has completed research on a treatment for DNA problems. It's called the Helixia and is guaranteed to give your genes a thorough wash. <laughs> guaranteed to give your genes a thorough wash. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, lightheadedness. I need a deluxe clinic. We just have to send a patient home. Send patient home for a minute. I can't do anything about it. I've got an electrical storm going on. My janitors are going to have to do a lot of work to keep on top of this. Revenue minus 44. Goodness me. We should consider lowering our outgoings or making more money. Um, Doctor required in research. I keep getting patients dying. This is a serious problem. I... This is a, a, a very serious problem. I can't do anything with research at the moment. Shock clinic. Uh, send them home. Send patients that need the shock clinic home for a minute. There is nothing else I can do. It's better than having them dying in the hospital. It's got to be. It's got to be better than having them die in the hospital. Staff training required. Gilbert Brown has gained lots of experience on the job. They're ready for a motion to assistance once they've completed some training. Uh, not now. I don't have anything. I've, I've got to start sending these patients home. Toilets need routine servicing. Right, if the maintenance could come along and sort that out, that would be great. Publicity update. Impress that Silly F uh, Sally Fig Blanket's latest county roundup just went live. Maybe it was a slow news day, but we got a nice big positive mention in it. This is good publicity for the hospital, but I wonder if it could be better. Right, we've got 8 reputation and 10k points there. The biggest problem I've got is that I'm not making money. It's it's slowly coming in, but I'm not able to get on top of the money. I need a shop clinic. That's the, the biggest thing we need. Ooh! Right, money is getting quite low. Okay, first up, go here. Go in here. Shop clinic. Get that one started. Green light that project right there. Doctor needed in GP's office. Have you noticed that all of the projects have got some stuff going into them? I think that's really cool. Okay, he's going to go in and he's going to start working on that. I could do with getting some people trained. There's a ghost just been caught there. Has anyone seen any mono beasts? I have not. Right, it's spacebar to pause. If I see a mono beast, I need to pause. Right, I'm looking around for mono beast. But I have, I've not seen one yet. I've got a DNA thing, but that requ that requires a lot of money. I need I need all sorts. Staff promotion. Junior doctor to doctor. Uh, Perry Monk. Promote. That means he's ready for more training. Animal magnetism we've got over there. I've got the doctor in here. This one, the fracture clinic. I've got two beds in here at the minute. Quite a few of our staff have trained. And now I've gone down. I've, I've lost a load more money again. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. As soon as I get the money, I think I should train the ward managers up a little bit. And maybe improve their chances of getting something. I mean, 
Having a look in here, I've got Diagnostics 3, Research 3 for Perry over there, Mechanics 2, I've got one able to come and do that. Uh, general Practice 2. Having some doctors trained in General Practice 2, that would at least get the diagnosis. Treatment, I suppose, would be a good one to do. Genetics. Staff with this qualification, able to learn four... Allows a doctor to work in a DNA lab. Ward management. Yeah, it's ward management too that I want. I want to be able to level that up. But I don't I don't have ward management too. Trainees. I got some nurses. I got a lot of nurses that are available for the ward management bit. Ward management is 20% diagnosis treatment and um yeah, diagnosis and treatment, and treatment in the war fracture ward as well. So it would be, be like, I can't do it. I, I don't have the money. We've got to wait. So I'm while I'm waiting. And also, I've run out of space. I need a deluxe clinic, and I need the DNA thing. Room's in here, look. What do we need? I need the DNA lab. That's 50 grand. So that's not happening anytime soon. That's for certain sure. And I need a deluxe clinic, which is 21,000. And I haven't got room for a deluxe clinic in here either. Staff promotion. There's another junior nurse up to nurse. Right, that's good because that gives them additional diagnosis. Look, see? Diagnosis and treatment skills. Promote. Challenge. Cure five patients with humorous injury. Rewards. Minus, oh, sadly we didn't cure enough of the patient group. This has damaged our reputation, and we haven't been sent a reward. Well, that's just great. That's just great. I need this room to be improved once I've got some money. So the, I think that's what we will do to start with, is we will start improving that room right there. And get it up to the kind of standard that we've got our ward at. Shock clinic is required. Send the patient home. Send them home. Rather than having them hang around looking miserable, I think it would be better just to get rid of them and send them home. And then they can always come back later and do some more stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Minus two grand. We're on our way up. This is looking good. I need more doctors. I've got seven patients there. I don't have a doctor in that room. He's obviously away on a break somewhere. Minus 36. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. Minus 36 at the moment. This means... Oh, that drug mixer could do with being upgraded. How much does it cost to upgrade that? 10,000. I don't have that kind of money. I've got two grand. Two grand is not enough to buy another bed in here. I need 3,000 to buy another bed in this room. There's 3,000. Right. Let's get another bed. Go to this room right here and edit, and then go for a traction bed, which I'm going to put over in that corner over there, and then I'm going to go with a wall monitor here. Actually, that one can go right there in that corner. There's 3,500. Right. Build room. There we go. I don't often Let do that this, carry on. but here's the weather report. A purple contentment seeps through the pores of Croc and Bush. A vast cloud of inexperienced crows gathers for the annual feast over flattering. And finally, the tears of a clown swell to a tide down the streets of Grockle Bay. The next weather report will be in 17 years. The next weather report will be in 17 years. Uh, three by f well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.